hello viewers welcome back to another section of my tutorials and in this video i have a function here for us to for us to find the derivative of it so y is equal to tan squared of x plus y we are supposed to find the derivative of this function that is you're supposed to find the y over the x the y over the x of this function now if you analyze this function very well you realize that it's a composite function a function within a function now i have a trigonometric function here and within its argument i have a linear function here so in order for me to differentiate this i'm going to use the chain rule i'm going to use the chain rule so let's see so first of all i'm going to put my function i'm going to make some of them the subjects then we apply the chain rule method so i'll start from my inner function here x plus y so i'm going to let u let a variable u to be equal to x plus y then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find this u over the x which is going to give me if i'm going to differentiate x with respect to x i'm going to get one plus if i differentiate y with respect to x i'm going to get the y over the x and this is going to give me 1 plus y prime. I'll put it down. So the next thing I'm going to do is, since I made x plus y to be u, I'll make my substitution. So my y is now equal to tan squared of u. The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to find my dy over the u. That is, I'm going to differentiate this with respect to u. And now let's see, this is also another composite function we are going to tackle. So you realize that y will be actually equal to tan of the expression u all squared. It is the same as this. So what you are going to do is, we are going to first tackle what is also inside it before we will tackle the outside. So now let v to be equal to my inner function tan u, tan u. Therefore, my dv over the u will simply be equal to sec squared u. When you differentiate and you get sec squared, so sec squared u. So right now, I've made what I have here as v. Now y simplifies to v squared. Then finally, I'm going to find the y over what? dv. And that's going to give me 2v. I'm going to make my substitutions here. So by the chain rule, the y over the x is simply equal to i'm going to start from here the y over the x so starting from the latest one the y over the v the y over the v multiplying the v what is the v the v over the u then multiplying the u over the x so this is my three chain rule so when i multiply this i'm going to get my actual solution so now what is dv, dy over dv? dy over dv is giving me or 2v. Multiplying dv over the u giving me c squared u. Multiplying the u over the x, which gave me 1 plus y prime. I'm not done. I'm supposed to simplify this. So what is my v? My v is tan u. So this is going to give me 2 tan u. Multiplying c squared. And my u is x plus y. Multiplying 1 plus y prime. I'm still not done. I'm still having u here. So this is equal to 2 tan of x plus y. C squared x plus y. Then I'm going to have 1 plus y prime here. And that is equal to, I have the y over the x. Remember the y over the x. So you realize that I'm going to have the y over the x is also represented as y prime. So y prime will be equal to 2 tan of x plus y multiplying 6 squared x plus y then multiplying 1 plus y prime like this. I have y prime here, I have y prime here. This becomes an implicit. So in implicit, you make sure that you want to find the y over the x. So the y over the x is supposed to be at the left side or we are supposed to make it the subject. How am I going to simplify that? 
So I'm going to make y prime the subject in this context. So let's see. From here, I can multiply this by this. I'll expand this so that I can get this down in the room. So my y prime is simply going to give me 2 tan of x plus y. Then this comes again. 6 squared x plus y. That is for the one part. I multiply this whole expression by 1. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that whole expression by y prime. So plus y prime, then open brackets, 2 tan, I come again, x plus y, 6 squared, x plus y, like this. So now I've expanded it. If I want to make y prime the subject, I'm going to send this whole expression to the other side. So I'm going to get y prime minus this whole expression, y prime, open brackets, 2 tan, of x plus y 6 squared x plus y then this is equal to 2 tan x plus y 6 squared x plus y so if i want to make y prime the subject is simple here so to make y prime the subject i'm going to have i'm going to have y prime Open bracket 1 minus the expression 2 tan of x plus y 6 squared of x plus y is equal to that whole expression 2 tan x plus y then 6 squared x plus y. So then for my y prime finally gives me my y prime will give me 2 tan of x plus y 6 squared x plus y everything over this place 1 minus 2 tan x plus y x squared x plus y so that is finding the derivative dy over the x of my expression so thanks for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and also share